Yeah, we made it in America. We just kind of looking where we can go turn around and register and get some wristbands and do some test rides. It's, and that's Lake George right there. You know what? Yeah, I'm turning around right here. Oh, no, we get to go up there. Kiriakin. It seems like it's pretty packed. It's our first time here, obviously. Oh, we can go out. We don't have to turn around. No, we do have to turn around because there's no way to go that way. Turn around and watch the cars coming on this side, Cake. All right, we're going to head out. He says something about a Holiday Inn. Okay, got a bunch of boat rides. Maybe we can make take a dinner ride. I don't know. All right, let me sign off till we go get inside and go on a test ride. I want to ride the DCT Goldway. Sure, at Americade and parked. And now we're about to go in and see could we get in on a demo ride because they say they are going quick. You guys know what I'm going to ride? <laughs> to the Goldway. <laughs> The rich is on this Indian Roadmaster. We're going to test ride it at America 2021. Okay. Out here on the highway riding the Indian. And right now, I didn't turn it on with any street ride yet. Just want to see how it thought a response on the highway. There's a group ride in front of me. I think that's the KTM, I can't tell from back here. And right now, and okay, that look like the Honda riders. Yeah, I see the Honda jacket. Honda, you, you got to ride the group ride. But anyway, in six grill at these speeds, and I'm doing 70 right now, the throttle response is not that great for me if I want to pass a truck. And obviously I'm doing all the comparison to the Goldwing. And I ride Big Easy 2015 Goldwing. And right now it just seemed like it wouldn't have enough passing power for me in sixth gear compared to the 2015 Goldwing. We try to sign up for the Goldwing ride, but I think I went the wrong way. Tried to find out time for the gold wing ride, but I uh it was all about booked up. I think everybody wanna ride all the gold wings and a DCT. I think I missed my exit. You know the guy said one exit, I looked for the yellow sign and couldn't find it. So I'm gonna get off the next exit, just jump back on the freeway and turn around. Yeah, I think I missed the exit. I saw the yellow sign. And then I saw the freeway because he was telling me it points to the freeway, but I did not see the second yellow sign to get off. Okay, fifth gear has a little passing power at 70 miles an hour, but it's still kind of weak. So I want to go ride some of the back roads, but I'm still going on and get off the freeway here and take it back to... Yeah, I think I went too far. They may not let me ride it again. I mean, for nimble and maneuverability, fairly easy. And I like the... Oh man, I'm going way too far. <laughs> They're not going to let me ride again. Here's where I test the passing power. I am fifth gear right now. Yeah, when I throw it, it, it got enough passing power in fifth gear, but it doesn't seem like it had that much in sixth gear. So, oh man. The good thing about it is a self guided tour. The bad thing about it is they may not let me <laughs> ride another one because I went the wrong way, I took the wrong turn. But I'll probably go ride the Indian Dog Horse. 
Yeah, we got America doing a test ride and I need to get off this freeway and find my way back. I get the Honda guys probably wondering where is this guy going? So tomorrow morning we got to get up and come out here at 7 o'clock to sign up for the Honda test rides. And hopefully I can meet up with parking every one mile. Man, hopefully I can meet up with Craig Hainsworth because he has a DCT. But obviously he don't have to do a test ride or a demo ride, I guess you can say. Well, that'll be my last demo ride on Indian because when they scan my car, they scan the bike and find out how far it went. That's going to be all bad. Anyway, I'm going to turn this off and turn it back on when I get back on the street. Okay, just finished demo riding the Indian. The big one. You know, if I'm going to demo ride anything, it'll be a big bike. Uh, what I thought about it. I thought it was a great bike. Um, I still will stick with my Honda for now. But the throttle response were really great at low speeds, at high speeds. Passing speed, like freeway speeds, I had to drop it down a gear. It doesn't compare to Big Easy right now. However, if I was to leave, if I was to leave, Goldwing, I'm definitely going with the Indian and I'm going with the big bike. It seemed like it'd be a great bike for touring cross country the way Cake and I ride. It's supposed to be a 10 mile ride. I wind up doing, I think 50 miles because I actually got lost. I was supposed to follow the arrows and I wind up getting on a freeway and then saw a, another group ride. So followed them for a second. They got off, I kept going. I got off, came around and wandered through town for a while. So I had the bike probably about an hour and a half at the most. Or at the least, I guess you could say, they probably was gonna report it stolen if I didn't bring it back. But when I came back, they was all ears, smiling ear to ear. It was a beautiful bike. I really like it. So you never know, my next bike may be an Indian, but I gotta ride the new Goldwing before I even give up on the Goldwings. You know them.